So yes, family, we're still at our sister Ernest's house here in Prom Prom as we're doing one of our Africa for the Africans house tour. And I got my special guest here, Sister Akubi Aqua mm -hmm. Thank you. from the Bronx <laughs> yeah, by the way of Savannah, Georgia, Gullah Geechee to the core. There you go, I got you. Okay. No, I, like I grabbed you last time, I got you. You know what happened in Gambia? When I fell back again, I scared Rick. Just do that. I was playing with him. Oh, yes. Oh, my goodness. See? When I was finished building the house, I didn't have any money. I was still living in uh, Detroit, so I didn't have any money to buy furniture, and I wasn't bringing my furniture over here yet. Still had 13 years. <laughs> So what I did was I came in and I I improvised and I built my own furniture in terms of the bed and I made it the way I made it so that uh, so that I wouldn't have to put the one mattress on it. <laughs> so that was basically it. This was uh, my daughter said she wanted this bedroom so when she had friends to come over she would have enough space for them. So this was her bedroom. So I just took plywood and made the bed out of plywood. And That's the thing you have right here. I changed the colors and then changed the just the color of the cloth And the good thing is you have a nice view of the ocean. Yes. Yes. And this is one of the bathrooms here. This bathroom is for this particular uh, bedroom here. And the one over here. Oh, it's all the way this one here is the smallest one in the house. Uh, I had so was this was this your guess? No, this is my room. I didn't want to be this room. I don't play that small. You can't talk about that song, brother. You can't talk about that song, brother. You can't talk about that You've been here for how long now? I get the little money treat. I've been with the house 21 years ago. Yeah. But I officially retired and moved here 13 years ago. Nice, beautiful ocean view. This is another master bedroom over here. That's the way I remember. Nice. You. Not this hot. Yeah. We, this we knew was the last one. Yes, come on, come on out and get some of the sun out here. Look this at this. Where I would be. Just get a get a get a feel for. So you don't you don't know the brother lives right there. Oh uh, no. And that old no, that's Willie's house, right? Whose house is that? Yeah, that's the brother upstairs. Oh, that house right there. Um, we're, we've been to a few houses. Sometimes I forget where we've been at. Your 
Say hello to the people, my sister. Hello, you are welcome to come to Ghana. Absolutely, there you go. <laughs> All the beautiful welcomes, family, and this is the backyard. My dog's back here. Where's my dog's at? They're in the dog house. <laughs> So this is a you know you have a nice top Wait, view you feel. You got the repad house right there. No 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 I didn't say that I didn't say that. Lock the door lock the door. Lock. Hey hey. Why would you do that? Who let the dogs out? <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> So family, we are here in Prom Prom, this beautiful view. Our sister Erna has just invited us to get a view of our house and uh, we're on the second floor and uh, we're just watching this beautiful wave from the ocean and this all this beautiful tropical greenery around. It's just amazing. Oh yes, sir. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This is yeah. I was showing folks over there. He's, he lived here when he first came. Yeah, this is a good uh, energy family. And look at the backyard. It's beautiful. She's had about 13 on. But yes, Erna, you've been awesome. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Let me uh, let me get everybody to break. Okay. And um, all right. You wanna, we'll come. And again, this is what happens when you live here by the ocean. This is all coming down, and I'm gonna put up wood the next time. Take all of it down. So you do recommend wood? Okay, that's a yeah. good. That's a great advice. Yeah. If someone, if someone would come overnight, this would be the repad house. Yes, but my young lady that works here, she's in one part of it now. Oh, okay. How I you used to have two individual uh, efficiencies. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Hi, little sugar pie. Close the door so they don't come out. Who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Come on, let's go. Come so on, first of all, this is my house. So you come all on, are the come visitors. Come on, out. Come on. Uh-oh. <laughs> so I want one more look at these people. Let's go. <laughs> so so give me one more look. Uh-uh-uh. Go. Nice. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So you think I'm going to be Come a cage on. and I'm going to be free. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than everybody else. Come on. So give me free. <laughs> so how many acres? Uh, this is one full acre. Excellent. Excellent. But one full acre. Excellent. This is we're doing 100 by 100, right, so it's right. a full acre. Now they do like 100 by 80. And, and it, it's like they keep on, it's like the people who create these things keep cutting it down. Yeah. Now I'm hearing about like 70 by 70. Yeah, <laughs> but yes, family, return to the motherland and enjoy your tropical life. I bought up a lot of solar lights and put them in the house. So we put them out every day. And even though I still have electricity, I still put them out every day. And at night, I bring them inside and just put them throughout the house. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. But you said sometimes they go out. So uh, solar is expensive, too. Yeah, but it is. I, you saw on top of the house uh -huh. over there where I got the solar lights. It was expensive. And what about the, some people I know get the solar and they get the um, generator? No, generally that makes too much yeah, noise for me. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I, I can't for. stand the smell that gas all the time. Right, because I was in Hurricane Wilma in Cancun, and they had a generator. Uh, and I it's like the solar and is terrible. ECG, the electric. Okay. I'm getting these ideas. Okay. Uh, Mercy, you can lock it, please. Light out. Light out. Light out. Yeah, maybe two hours. Maybe two hours. Solar is on too. It goes at the same time? Uh, no, the ECG is up. They gave us a warning that it's going to be out from 6 o'clock to 6 this evening. Okay. So I had to solar on it. Maybe it had to be charged. Oh, okay. How often do you have to charge the solar? Uh, it's always on being charged. Okay. Always charging it in case the ECG goes off. Yes. I'm sorry, it's so hot in here for you all. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you very, very much. Yes, y'all. Beautiful, Thank beautiful house. My pleasure. My pleasure. Hopefully, if you come back again, it'll look a little bit better. Thank you so much. <laughs> welcome, dear. So we welcome. appreciate you. It was beautiful. Y'all see if we can take some uh, photos <laughs> with earning a few people. I want us to see what the possibilities are. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes, who want to join us for a photo? Um, oh. And while you're doing that, uh, y'all. Uh, family, I'm gonna give you a quick walk around the house. It's a quick walk around. So we're upstairs on the top floor. Now we are down here at the bottom floor and we're just gonna do a 360 around the house. And this is a full acre. So this is the benefits of being a pioneer. You come out uh, somewhere rural, you get land, and then you, uh, you start building. And so family journey continues and we've just completed our house tour here in Prom Prom. Hopefully you enjoy the vibes, energy, and hopefully it motivates you to put beautiful game plans together to live, do business, and invest on the African continent.